to join us. Okay, and the recording is live. So thank you for your patience. I mean, as always, we are on time. IST, Indian Standard yeah. Time, we made it. <laughs> so uh, uh, Divya, today we have over 1,878 attendees registered for this session and alive wow. with us both on Zoom and Facebook. Uh, thank you all for your interest. And by the way, we are also live on Facebook and one can go on School News Facebook page and watch this session live. So a lot of you who are registered and were lucky to uh, get into Zoom because we have a limitation of 500 audience here yeah. and you are uh, one of the 500 okay. luckiest ones. So you could actually go and take a moment uh, to share it on your Facebook Live as well so that all of others and your peers could also watch this session. So I'll share a few hygiene points uh, for our attendees. So if you are facing any bandwidth issues, we suggest that you turn off the video so that you can listen to the audio with a better clarity. A uh, recorded version of this webinar will be available on our Facebook page that is at the rate school news. And we shall also send you an email with the YouTube link post this uh, webinar. There is a Q&A button which should be used for relevant questions that you need to ask Divya. Please do not put questions in the chat box. You could introduce yourself or you could, uh, uh, you know, uh, just, just praise the beauty of the view or you could just <laughs> tell me that looking ugly with this beard. But yeah, you could just use the chat box for uh, chatting uh, between, uh, you know, you all. And the Q&A button should only be used yeah. for raising the questions. And you can follow Divya Lal and me on our Facebook, Insta, and Twitter account and interact with us there if you have any questions post this webinar. For those of you just joining, welcome and enjoy the webinar. Thank you, Divya, for uh, you know, I mean, being here. And uh, always I, a pleasure, Avi. Thank you, thank you, Divya. <laughs> you have been an ardent supporter of us. I mean, right from uh, the first day. I mean, when we started this media house, and till today. I mean, when I think I mean, possibly we have made some mark. <laughs> so, uh, uh, first off, I mean, let me thank you, Divya, for agreeing to this. Uh, you know, to be on this show. I've literally had to chase you for weeks to say yes. I mean, that was a hard thing to do. Uh, but I'm yeah. really sorry on that. And Ravi, I'm, you know, with all this new situation coming in, we've been so bagged up with about 14 to 15 hours in front of our screens, helping uh, schools really go online and, you know, start the think systematically rather than just randomized efforts. So I'm really sorry. I've not, never kept not, school not. waiting or anything and uh, so happy to be here. And uh, before I think we get into a session, Ravi, I wanted to acknowledge what fantastic work school is doing, not only generally from a media house, but I loved the initiative on the shields and everything. And I thought that was, that was so well thought and, and so timely. And I Thank think you. kudos to you and the entire team. I think it's fabulous, you know, what you guys Thank are. Thank you very much. I, I, I wish I could ask you just like the Uber driver, <laughs> please rating a chicken. <laughs> so uh, on that note, let us, let us start in lots, uh, you know, I mean, uh, not sure. keep all, all of us waiting here. Uh, so let me introduce, you know, a, a lot of people here, I mean, know you already, Divya, you have been uh, the icon in education since last 20 years. Yeah. And, but for a few, I mean, who may not know you, I mean, let me share something about you and uh, the background. So Divya Lal, also known as the edtech icon <laughs> of the education ecosystem, she carries over two decades of experience in bringing technology to Indian schools. Passionate about providing access of quality education to all, she strives towards creating innovative solutions which drastically improve the teaching and learning outcomes. She started her career as a faculty at NIT 20 years back. And from there, she worked at Educom for 10 years before moving to Smart Class Solutions, to Ebix Smart Class, and now heading to Learn. So you all could kind of, you know, I mean, possibly relate to Divya. I mean, she is the mother of Smart Class in India. I mean, she has been, uh, I think, I mean, um, millions of Smart Classes have been in each and every school in different towns and uh, even tehsils and districts and talukas <laughs> and the governments and the metros and everywhere. So I think Divya is the name, I mean, which everyone relates to. And... Uh, I, I completely, uh, uh, you know, I mean, uh, resonate with uh, the kind of uh, thoughts that Divya uh, keep on sharing on different platforms. She feels strongly about bridging the digital divide that currently exists in the Indian education system. And she's happy to work towards creating 21st century future ready education solution. So uh, with that, uh, a very, very warm welcome to you, Divya. I mean, uh, uh, this is uh, really, uh, really amazing. I mean, speaking to uh, the ed tech icon of India, I mean, I know you are, which you will uh, very humbly, uh, you know, push me off with the scene. Uh, the, the format is such that I'd like to ask you a few direct questions today. I, are you ready with the here? And uh, I'm sure, I mean, if you find any question a little here and there, I mean, you could have given it You are not... No, uh, Ravi, actually, I'm happy because unlike, I think, some, some of the things I've done on webinars these days, I'm kind of looking forward to a conversation, actually. 
So Wonderful. fire away. <laughs> how, how is this lockdown treating Divya Lal? <laughs> I'm glowing, so you can see. So <laughs> <laughs> I think, Ravi, I'm used to like traveling as you travel about three to four days a week. So I think home food and such amazing weather conditions. So I think I've been very privileged to have a very happy. I think my family hasn't seen me ever straight for 35 days. I don't, uh, I think there've been like discussions back home, like, you know, when was the last time you were home for 35 days in a go? So uh, I think it's good from that point of view. Um, I also got lucky, you know, my mother just got operated just before the lockdown started. So I think we've been able to see her through a very smooth recovery and everybody's been home and, you know, so there are all kinds of sides. Um, I think also from, um, you know, professionally speaking, um, I think it's amazing because been so actively working with Flipla now in a very, very active role last six months and to see how the whole country has just leapfrogged into a, a tech, mm-hmm. okay, on on an overnight phenomena that happened in the country within seven to ten days, school started doing something or the other is is very heartening. Okay, it's like you know nobody is saying we'll see what happens. Let the schools open. People just jumped into it, and I think that's a big salute to all our educators, our school leaders, our owners of the schools, and you know who've really like taken it up. I've never let like let the learning not stop. Okay. And they're finding solutions. They're doing things to bring it to their schools. I completely agree there with you. So, you know what? A couple of weeks back, I mean, uh, when we were, uh, you know, midway through uh, this uh, lockdown, I wrote something on my social media, uh, which, which basically uh, says that what demonetization did to fintech is exactly what COVID-19 is doing to edtech. Okay. Do you agree to the statement? And if yes, can you share any change that you may have noticed in last a month or so, which is not there previously in the edtech ecosystem? Sure. See, till now, I'll tell you the edtech revolution has been, at least when it comes to schools as ecosystems, has been pretty much offline. I think what happened in the last 30 days was that what people took it as an option, okay, you know, like schools don't need to go online, you know, people can go online and buy online learning solutions. That was always about, you know, support happening on school uh, at home time, you know, after school. And suddenly what has flipped in the last 30 days is now schools understand that they have to be online because irrespective of, you know, whenever the lockdown opens, when we can run normally all schools functionally, happily, we now need proper systems to actually, you know, run through that experience. And I think that is what has been the 180 degrees change that now schools believe that yes, school learning itself has to move online and, uh, they're looking at proper systems that are comprehensive by nature to, you know, really evolve into. Yeah, I think, uh, I, I think, I mean, what a lot of school owners, I mean, I keep speaking to mm-hmm. a lot of school owners and, and uh, you know, a collective feedback of this uh, pandemic is such that, you know, I mean, the only thank, I mean, that we are going to, uh, you know, I mean, this pandemic is that it taught, uh, you know, pretty much 90% of our teacher force to use technology. Everyone yeah. is online yeah. on Microsoft. Oh, yeah. Uh, teams and Webex and uh, Zoom and you know I mean so it's it's pretty easy I mean of course yeah. there have been some uh, problems here and there but Zoom and all these platforms mm-hmm. are working uh, you know 24/7 and they have kind of you know very quickly come up with the solutions and I think I mean that's that's something uh, the only uh, thing that we can happy uh, uh, you know be uh, uh, about this particular pandemic so the current situation of uh, you know lockdown I mean we have seen a major shift of Indian schools from brick and mortar to online mediums. What is Flipland's approach and contribution towards the same? I mean, uh, if you could, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you are a very, very busy <laughs> person with the calls and the emails coming in. Why Flipland and why only Flipland that, you know, when people are going, uh, you know, when chasing you for uh, this particular stuff? What's so important about Flipland? I think uh, more than just providing, see, one is about a one-way communication of sending information to students, okay? Give them learning links, give them learning videos, give them some assignments to do. I think FlipLearn brings you a comprehensive system and that is why it is being, you know, uh, chased out about mostly because this is the only system that's enabling not only learning assessment of a child, but also the correction and feedback that a teacher can give to every child sitting from home and the system does 99% of the work. So there's a lot of AI that has worked through so that the teacher's work is also for the first time in India, I can tell you there is a system that can bring down a teacher's workload like never before and it is not limited to a pandemic you can use it throughout your this thing and 
a single collated place where as a school head you want to know what's happening you know you can't call 50 teachers and ask aapne kya upload kara whatsapp pe what did you upload on the website you know what did what online sessions did you do what happened in those sessions how do a parent know like really what happened and how many so we are giving a comprehensive but yet personalized learning system and teaching system so i'm giving possibilities of a teacher to say that they can control a teaching experience like they would do in a class like if they tell that ravi before speaking the next question you have to have to see this video think she can put that control that your auditory cannot be enabled till then so that is the level of you know personalization that that the system brings in okay uh, so uh, tell me tell me very frankly i mean is it because of the credibility and uh, the name that you have in uh, the market i mean is because you're getting so many uh, inquiries or is it all about the platform and uh, the quality of uh, the work that you do i think both Where help <laughs> both helps so we uh, we have to put flip learn flip learn was not very known and you know in the last 3 4 years that the team has worked through with it i've i've joined in more actively in the last 6 months but uh, we've been focused on doing many things you know we've stumbled here and there and you know got into many things so we have not really put the name out there that much so at this point of time it goes hand in hand you know to be able to draw people but i think as more and more people are using it and understanding that word of mouth reference is going around and you know that is helping us move around yeah i've been noticing a lot of liplen logos on many school social media <laughs> So, so we are we are happy on that. Is yeah. is, is Fliplearn all about CBSE or any specific board or does it cover every, all the boards? Every board, class? every board. I think uh, we map to various boards in the country, whether it's CBSE, ICSC, state boards, whether it is Samachir, Karnataka board, Maharashtra, Gujarat. You know, we do majority of the boards. Uh, we also are today have schools that follow Cambridge and IB curriculum that are using it because the system is not limiting. Again, like I said. you know you don't like the content and i'm not a content player in this there's some aggregated content that we put through uh, the idea is you can upload your own stuff you don't like my stuff you can just hide it completely it won't be visible so it allows the teachers to do a lot of things like they would do in a class and today i have schools from cbsc icsc cambridge ib state boards everybody joining in because the it gives you that flexibility to play with and how long did it take you to create this kind of a curriculum and content on this platform it's been uh, it's been underway for 2 to 2 and a half 3 years ravi to put something together this comprehensive um, i think for us in a lot of ways the timing went right i mean it was just coming out and things also happened in a way while well, started working on you know enabling schools to come into a systematic uh, thing so i think it's been a very uh, comprehensive effort nothing like this in etac you understand happens overnight you know and i'm sure it must be yeah. uh, it, it must require a daily updatation i mean a lot of new things coming in and are you upgrading the platform on daily basis yeah totally <laughs> like you know every day with some schools uh, while uh, so you know with our own zoom account uh, we run about demos starting 10 o'clock every day and every hour we do about like 8 hours of demos non stop one one hour where multiple schools join it's like webinar after webinar happening and on an, a parallel account we have trainings and out clarification happening so you know we get uh, concerns from teachers you know i didn't get this or i'm not able to do this can you add this feature and so there is a constant updation with the tech teams and that that was also one of the reasons i couldn't join you because we were so backed up with all this demand and usage and then you know the kind of patterns that come in so like people told us you know put con- conferencing integrated a couple of conferencing things they are launching out then they said no in the conferencing i want attendance also to come in you know how should i send it so there are like you a lot just, of things that you just contradicted in the statement that i mean previously that you gave that you are spending good quality time with your family and, <laughs> and not 8 to 10 hours of devotion for my for my family i'm i'm inside the same premise is in yeah. itself is a good time yeah. you know <laughs> that is that otherwise my mom won't see me like like four days in a row every week so for her it's like it's amazing i'm around a morning evening hopping in hopping out so so i think i i think a major problem that a lot of uh, edtech solutions that the schools are facing is that uh, you know the solution providers i mean uh, they go and they sell the school uh, you know uh, buys it uh, but what goes after that when school wants to you know and inculcate that particular thing in their teachers do you face a lot of problem because i mean i think this is the major problem in edtech in india that buying and purchasing and selling is not a problem but you know when implementing that particular thing in the school is how do you manage that particular uh, problem 
So I think uh, what has worked well for us, Ravi, is uh, that we've broken down our training into like some seven eight trainings. Actually, I tell schools as many as needed. Okay. And our idea is we teach simple things to teachers. We don't want to overwhelm them. Kids are digital natives. They explore the app very fast. They're able to go through many or such things. But uh, I think the big big piece is essentially on hand holding a teacher through this entire thing. So you know when day one we start with the school and we get the data to create in. Within the three days, the first training gets launched out. Okay, and the idea is to take them through something, and we do a Zoom session like this only. And then every three to four days, there is a doubt clarification session because the question is not of the training, Ravi. You will again understand training is a lot one way many a times. You know, people are absorbing. Then we give them videos for every step so that you know at home if they get stuck, they can refer to it. I have a call center; they can call and take support. Okay, I have a manual I've given them. But the issue happens when they take an online class or when they try to create a homework that they wanted to send and didn't go. That is when they wanted out clarification to happen. That is what we do every two three days, and we are live with schools on our WhatsApp groups. So we work intensively with IT heads, school teachers, HMs, all teachers maybe in one of the groups, etc. And they keep posting in this login ID. You know, I I got an issue. Maybe I logged myself out. So I have my tech teams that are embedded, and even at night at eleven o'clock, people just solve it and say, "Go ahead, do it." I'm pretty okay. sure you're planning for a seven-day vacation right out of the lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I'm I'm waiting for it to open to take a break now. Okay. So so, so uh, there is this uh, user in you know on Facebook, uh, Stavya Jen, uh, okay. asking Flipland. Uh, do you also provide video conferencing? Yes, we do. Yes, we do, and uh, it will be available to all our science schools like within a week. It's uh, today is the final testing, but we just want to test it for a couple of days more before it's made live. Perfect. So Stavia, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. If Stavia is he or she, but yeah, I mean you got the answer. <laughs> <coughs> Perfect. So. Uh, so okay. I mean, we're looking at answers. Uh, what is the mindset of the students, especially when compared with the traditional? Can I just take this, Ravi, if you don't mind? Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. So I think Sunil ji is asking this uh, from Medicaps University. Uh, what you'll understand is, uh, Suniji, students are actually digital natives, so there is no problem when it comes to from a uh, student point of view. I think the two people that are critical in this case, one is a teacher and the other is the parents, and that is why with our app, what we always do is provide extra devices. You know, like a Netflix connection works on three devices or five devices. We also encourage the same thing, and we encourage parents to log in parallelly. Okay. to view in what the child is doing and whatever the school is sending they can also click on a tab and actually view it so that makes them partners and we haven't had that kind of a concern from a student community they are kind of enjoying it they they don't look forward so much to an online session that much because the kids keep getting tuned out but they want a space to personalize their learning and that is why a system works well with most of the kids ravi over to you I'll take I, another question. I just, I just yeah. want to uh, ask you, uh, you know, a, a much asked question. I mean, whenever I go to US or UK or uh, Malaysia or London in different conferences, I mean, there is one panel which is uh, on. I mean, can technology replace the normal classrooms? I mean, I think uh, you know this is really important timing for all of us to kind of. Uh, go back and think because at that point in time when the physical schools were still in place they were that question seemed to be a little irrelevant but now i mean we are looking at some some you know when uh, things when we're in 100% uh, you know teaching is on uh, online so what do you say is is technology really going to re replace the teachers or uh, do you have any other uh, thoughts to it no i don't think so we are also playing on that my idea is teachers very pivotal to the whole experience you know you customize you you can get information ravi you don't need a book everything is on the google you can google any concept and study it if that is the case sure. right but the idea is the teacher brings the construct together you know the whole contours of how much when what what should my child study maybe i'll give him something very customized from our own surroundings etc so that is important Mm -hmm. and the second piece that is very very critical in the story is essentially you know how you position the teacher so my whole suggestion in this online piece is don't run cinema halls you know don't run one one hour sessions of interactions of teachers you want to bring in the teacher bringer bring her for a short time and bring her more for the human connect let her talk to the kids at that time not teach mm -hmm. okay you can send all learning material assessment material via the system and you know look at what children are performing and track their performance and do all of that parallelly offline okay as in not in an online session etc 
in the session spend time maybe on doubt clarification that is where the expertise of the teacher comes in she can clarify to a child's level as per her class's satisfaction and i think that is the power that an educator brings and that is something that we can work at so i think that balance is critical you need to you know put the teacher in the position of being an expert to answer and clarify this is a trend she sees so she knows i asked five questions question number 2 had majority of the kids going wrong this is a part i need to focus on so rather than teaching everything you may want to spend time in knowing your children how they are doing through during this time and spend time on that clarification so i think when it comes to technology i don't know why ravi but always it is like teacher versus technology my purview is always is teacher with technology you know i've always said technology is not just you know digital by nature if i may say you know the pen you use is also a technology there is a certain tech that is worked in this a safety pin for my sari is also a technology right so when it comes to edtech we should not make it a versus kind of a phenomena right uh, the idea is it's hand in hand why do you want to teach her to correct so many basic question papers or formative assessment every monday when a system can do it why do you want a teacher to you know kind of recreate those notes and send it when i can give you a topics and opsis for every concept right so the idea is you know handhold become the partner that a teacher would want and become a partner for a child i as a child study at 11 o'clock only aur mujhe ko to raat ko 11 baje padhna hai so if i want to study i want the resource at that time so enabling any time anywhere learning i am personalized as per my level you know i am failing in a class maybe i need to do basics so i need to go maybe a step below and i just picked a question from sri ram ji and he said that you know what's your usp like there are many for example uh, ravi when we give a subscription to a child who's in let's say class 7 we give one class below and one class above free the idea is simple you can go a level below or a level up nobody does that in the industry that's like three grade subscription in one okay the second thing very clearly like i said is the teacher platform that we have created it is it is unprecedented there is no such platform that exists today that enables a teacher to upload her material hide our material sequence our material okay uh, create tests get them automated corrected get a report card ready okay and the first and she can regrade it if she if she believes that the system has not given the right marks to a subjective question forget about objective she can open it and regrade it also so the idea is we are have helping teachers right now in a way once you use the platform to do everything they would have wanted to do which is manually not possible in a class of 50 but online a lot of things are possible so let's I, say, so, yeah. yeah are we are we comfortable saying that you know i mean what uh, uh, you know 2k2 i mean where i mean the indian uh, government i mean they brought everything online and all the bhai khatas and registers mm. and all those paper things i mean got shifted to the drives on the computers i mean because that was not required and when it was coming people were a little worried that you know i mean this might take our jobs hmm. but we've been seeing a, a, you know a good surge in the employment in india and now people are taking uh, you know i mean courses in online and ict and all and the entire government has shifted to online where in everything you know i mean we don't need these you know i mean papers and everything because hmm. you have you know everything online so do you think that you know I mean, you are comparing that particular thing where in removing the unnecessary workload from the teacher and asking the teacher to focus more on uh, you know i mean helping the students learn better and not just doing the admin work and probably you know uh, absolutely absolutely because my point is you know we can definitely take away some of that pain you know some of that stuff can just happen i understand you want to do basic semester papers and go through that but now majority of the schools are running you know monday assessments and weekly assessments and formative assessments and this thing so how do you help all of that etc you know plus the tools that i built in were so focused that even if you're doing english lsrw you could do <clears throat> auditory questions you could listen to the diction of the children while you're at uh, you know there you can do many such things that the system enables you and i just saw a question for somebody saying from a rural background or you know every uh, parent does not have a smartphone that's a good question actually how do you reach out you know for that purpose ravi um, we have ensured that we don't push parents to invest into a smartphone or a device we are browser based also agar if you have desktop with internet connection you can use flipler you don't need to invest into a tablet or give your own phone to the child and our idea has been children should learn 
so we are platform agnostic completely you want to work with desktop laptops phones tablets anything and everything will work whether it is android apple web all platforms will work and from a you know another question that i saw how will it work in rural areas and everything connectivity well uh, if your parents use whatsapp they can use fliplearn that's the only amount of bandwidth it will need that's, uh, so that's if you are reaching out yeah so if if you can do a whatsapp <laughs> you can definitely do uh, this thing etc there's no problem mm-hmm. and all you know there there is a new model which uh, is being discussed in the world that uh, mm-hmm. see i've been i've been uh, speaking to uh, hundreds of school owners uh, you know since past couple of weeks or you know or so i've been speaking to a lot of policy makers i've been speaking to a lot a lot of uh, district collectors and all so one thing is pretty sure uh, you know that schools will be the last institutions to open after the absolutely. lockdown absolutely because uh, the collectors are saying that you know man i will not let, let the school yeah. open because that's where you know uh, the, you know the future of india is going to be in in in, in millions of numbers so when when we are talking about the normal schools opening by september uh, maybe in boarding schools opening in december uh there is a new model which has been discussed that even after when the school open uh you know when I mean, they will be trying uh, half a week of physical class yes. and, and the other half i mean the online i mean uh, through whatever platforms these respective schools are going to use so how are you going to you know i mean uh, you know of course the sports is one uh, you know uh, thing which has gone for a huge toss i mean i'm not sure i mean whether sure. we should be touching the topic sure. on this because this is more about technology but how do you see uh the schools operating you know half at home and half at school and how is the entire scenario going to look like yeah ravi i mean even i'm in touch with a lot of owners and the larger piece of talk is you know it's not like online till the schools open online is going to be around now very much comprehensively because even when schools open we with packed 40 50 kids in a class cannot work a complete school any day okay so schools are have will have to get into a staggered fashion maybe half of the school operates monday wednesday friday other half operates tuesday thursday saturday that means half of the school every day will be online mm-hmm. okay and learning it online etc and schools are basically working out that when it happens in such a situation and the timelines that you're saying are very true and that will also happen ravi only for middle or only senior school there's a very good likelihood the primary kids will not start off even then because they have to be very very sure in terms of you know because with with very young kids you cannot control them you know hugging touching and you know from that point of view you can initiate that only with kids of a certain age group and all so then the idea is technology is going to be with you and one of the things that i'm working very hard with the uh, school owners is from a revenue point also you know there is people just believe that schools should be a one way transmission of give 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 you know teach the kids pay the teachers do everything don't ask don't take i think that is unfair to a lot of it, to a large extent etc and i think um, uh, one of the parts of the fliplearn program is to also help schools you know how do they keep the revenues intact over the period of the year and how do we help every school make up that plan that is also an inbuilt discussion as a part of the thing that uh, actually there. coming to that uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, you know very uh, uh, discussed uh, kind of a question mm-hmm. that you know I mean what i have thoughts of the school fee fiasco i mean i've been reading this i mean this is on the top reading list of mine every day in the morning a lot of state governments have uh, uh, you know I mean issued the directives that you can't charge the fees even if you are charging the fees then only the tuition fees and so on and so forth so so for, for an instance i mean there are new schools i mean there are larger schools who are charging some 2 3 4 lakh rupees in a year Uh, in delhi gurgaon or in mumbai or in bangalore but uh, i think i mean there is a notion in um, you know a lot of uh, you know i mean parents there that schools are like billionaires they have well full of uh, you know I means it's stashed full of uh, you know 2000 <laughs> rupees bills and all so what, a lot of uh, things i mean uh, in delhi are a little uncertain and i think i mean a lot of schools are actually thinking about shutting down the operations yeah. in two three months yeah. if this goes yeah. you know i mean the way it is so, i mean what are your thoughts on this i mean do you think that not paying the fees from the school parents perspective is uh, the right uh, you know thing to uh, kind of talk about no personally i don't agree with this you know and personally we've been short in the family whatever kids are going to the school whether my nieces nephews cousins their kids uh, everybody is paid and i've told them that you must pay it's like you know you want a system to provide you service you must also it's it's it is a give and take you know whatever you can do you must do etc it's not like the schools are not doing every school in the country is doing something or the other for the children at this point of time and i think it becomes 
this is a symbiotic relationship the parent and the school have to be symbiotic to each other it it cannot be one way or the other and i believe i honestly feel that people should you know really uh, step up and become a partner to the school at this point of time because you know i always say behind the school stands the you know uh, the parent and behind the child stands the school so it it's a very mutual thing that what you're looking at so i personally am not in favor of not being asked and everything i believe that uh, we're paying our retail bills aren't we we're taking a service we are paying our bills etc and everybody's charging and they should also be in that uh, phenomena to be able to ask but i mean we can have our opinion that's all we can do right now glad glad that you think this way and i'm sure i mean there are uh, thousands of uh, you know attendees both on facebook and zoom if you are parents please if you can afford pay the school fees in yes. time yes. a lot of uh, influencers i mean uh, all the celebrities that you follow at some point or the other i mean they have came on screen and they have said that whatever they are today i mean they uh, kind of you know credit it to the school that they went to i mean so when yeah. they needed the school school was there and i yes. think it's about time that the schools need uh, you know them so i think i mean if we can ensure that we pay the fees on time all these amazing people the teachers i mean you need to understand that you know i mean it's not about any other profession who's making the future of india it's only the teachers uh, who are Correct. you know i mean building uh, you know the future of india so please 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 if you are a parent or if you are an influencer in your uh, city uh, uh, wherever you come from i'm sure i mean we have more than 50 city participants here please start a campaign and at least ask four or five people i mean how about we can start a challenge that i mean i have paid my school fees on time yeah, and i know these <laughs> five people and they get so you know something like that so i think it's about time that we help our industry and not these uh, you know uh, not let these uh, teachers the real warriors i mean uh, really suffer yeah so yeah. uh that's that's a good way uh, of kind of you know me bringing about uh, some change uh, deva do you want to uh, pick up a few questions because you know yes when, i think there are a lot of questions lot of on uh, two three parameter questions i'm going to pick up the one on security and uh, safety etc so mm-hmm. flipkin is a completely encrypted platform uh when we take data it is encrypted it goes into the system then only the login ids are generated and given back okay and uh, our idea is to keep it extremely safe so no unknown person can enter into your school the schools have complete control on what users are there they are given full charge of an admin dashboard to remove the kids that leave the school or add new kids who would join your school at any point of time and that's a very tight security and we run it flawlessly we haven't had a single security issue since we've been working so i'm very happy to put you on that the other thing a big theme that i wanted to pick up was what are the key things to remember for flip learn and what are the things it's a personalized online system we track every engagement every score is tracked performance can be tracked and i think more for that it's best ravi if people can attend some of our webinars that we do every day and they can get a comprehensive demo we didn't want to get into a product demo today so uh, you know that is something that you would uh, work upon and uh, Uh, the assessment sanjeev ji is is amazing in terms of uh, very very simple to comprehensive assessment models can be made and flipplan is one of those platforms that does not limit you to mcqs you can ask essay type questions short answer questions match the following true or false teachers can create any format of question can work through numericals equations algebraic expressions it's not limiting it's liberating as a platform to any educator i think that is the way if i may put and another theme of questions was coming around the primary kids you know what do we do for k to 5 or primary etc see most of these kids would have amazing exercises poems lot of stories they can refer to teachers can give lot of interactive exercises and teacher have so much material that they can just upload from the system and um, i think what is critical is that this system can then be used by the parents to work with their kids to do this work and come back great so uh, a lot of questions were uh, themed around that i mean there are a lot of questions popping up uh, you know as in uh, so uh, yeah i mean we have uh, adel ways we have already answered your question where you are asking how is flip learn effective for yeah. the primary then it is always uh, the the content is for all boards all these questions have been answered i think you were a little late or you were playing ludo online so, <laughs> so yeah i mean uh, okay manjri uh, uh, i will i will uh, request uh, uh, divya to share her email id i mean uh, she wants to know about your 
you know, yeah. other training uh, things and all. So I think I think uh, it, it has been a very crisp kind of a conversation and uh, a few points. I mean, uh, the technology is here to stay. And uh, this is not uh, what I am saying. This is not what Divya is saying. Whatever we are saying, don't trust. I mean, what <laughs> the entire world is uh, telling you, yes. this pandemic is telling you is, that we might have to shift to technology, uh, you know, not for a short while, but I think, I mean, the entire schooling of a child, I mean, will now depend 50% on the technology that the schools are using because they have now got the taste of it. I mean, a lot of schools were not ready for technology. I mean, they were, I mean, I, I've, I've had a lot of statements from a lot of schools. I mean, I, I think we should talk about it. Hey, smart class, smart class, kya hota hai? Yeah, yeah. blackboard, kya? Yeah. you know, I think these are the very people who are now rushing and seeing <laughs> See, we run a media house. You need yeah. to understand we have a relationship with thousands of school owners. So we also uh, work as advisors and, uh, you know, sure. I mean, on their advisory board. So a lot of school reached out to us that, you know, there is a, 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 a huge, uh, you know, repository of online learning solutions which are available mm-hmm. out there. That we, we don't know about it. We don't know the company. We don't know about the credibility. Mm-hmm. We don't know how easy to use that particular platform is. Can you suggest that, you know, I mean, mm-hmm. which online learning platform they could use? And then, uh, you know, they don't have the basics of it. You know, even the school doesn't have a broadband correct. connection. Correct. So I think it's correct. about time that we should prepare for a future technology ready, uh, you know, a scenario in schools. One thing is for sure, schools are not opening very soon. And second thing is, I mean, we need to make our schools running. And I think, I mean, we all should collectively come to this yes. particular uh, thing that, you know, I mean, we have to support, we have to yeah. pay the fees of, you know, time. We have to support with a lot of, I'm sure, I mean, the way I was having a conversation with you last week, you are also supporting a lot of rural schools yes. and you said you don't want to talk about it. So I, I really want to thank you for uh, the amazing work that you are doing on ground with the rural schools and you don't really want to talk about it because that's a CSR for your company. I know you have been spending a lot yeah. for uh, the good of this society and uh, pretty happy to uh, have you as a dear friend. <laughs> about. If there's any other questions you want to pick up. and. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I is there is a, I think for people who want to write and find out more because I see a lot of different threads people are writing. My email ID is simple. It is divya.lal. That's my name at fliplearn.com. So it is as easy as it goes. You can see my username here and divya.lal at fliplearn.com. Please feel free to write to me. I will personally answer all of your queries and would love to, you know, make you join one of those sessions where you can uh, see the content, see the system, etc. Uh, I think if you're looking at comparing us with maybe a Microsoft team or a Google platform, I think you're in for a huge surprise and a happy surprise that you will come and see what kind of work we've done. And uh, we're already onboarding Ravi about more than 50,000 kids to the platform per week. Okay. So my tech team is like completely backed up right now, scaling up, scaling up, you know, so the system continue to work. You know, Weber, Weber Dange is asking whether trial version of Fliplin is available to try. Uh, so we work out our model for the schools that we can work out for you anyways as a retail app, you know, because it's not only just about uh, the platform, uh, Ravi, we are a retail app. Anybody can go to fliplearn.com and buy the subscription uh, as a retail, this thing. You can take a seven day free trial. The system anyways allows you for a seven days free trial for an app. But if you want to see the teacher platform, which is a larger key from a school point of view, Please feel free to come to our session and we'll be very, very happy to share with you what you uh, Juhi Negi is asking, is there anything, uh, is there anything creative worksheet fl- uh, that FlipLearn provide for secondary students? Yes, we do for all the classes. We have about nine types of elements that we give to you for learning. We have animations, we have MCQs, we have uh, worksheets, we have sample papers, solved papers. We have mind maps for every concept. We have real life application. We have a topic synopsis. We have the best websites curated to go to. So there's a variety of learning resources that we provide both for teachers and students to readily use. And if they don't like that, they can always add their own stuff. Cool, yes, man. we have worksheets. Yes, I think somebody yeah. did. Manjari, Manjari Singhal uh, is saying, I would be very grateful if you could have some training on FlipLearn. Of course, they were just told you, they dot Lal at fliplearn.com so we have just answered that and that's done is fliplearn feasible for pre-primary children she has already uh, i think yeah that. i think we've answered that we don't do the competitive market i saw some people asking do you do a je or a need preparation yeah. no yeah. we are not in that space we just do nursery to 12th all grades all subjects we do all of that so that is there and like i said uh, it's completely online uh, so it's not an offline solution. You can get practical sessions to Sharji. Just write to my email. We'll invite you to have a session with us. 
and you can see this uh, we organize it every day consular ruby we it's every day um, we do about 8 to 9 sessions every day so you can just write to us we'll send you an invite for a time that you are comfortable with yes we provide hindi material also we do majority of the subjects we don't do third languages essentially but primary medium of instruction is hindi uh sorry primary medium of instruction is english we don't do hindi pre primary we have material you can review it so normally i think one thing i should write here is when we give a demo to you which we will call you and invite you after that we give you an id to explore the content take 3 days see everything that you want to see okay and then make a decision how you want to adopt it because we have very very easy adoption plans for every school in the country to take it through perfect so you know uh, uh, you know the time is uh, the constraint here and i'm sure there will be many questions which will go yeah. <laughs> so what i suggest you all uh, i'll give you all a moment uh, to just copy the questions that you have just pasted either on chat i mean aap log mano ve to nahi qna mein dalna tha but still <laughs> go ahead and copy the questions that you have pasted on either chat or qna and uh, paste it on uh, the facebook live uh, that is uh, currently uh, going on on school news and i will request divya to find out some time from her uh, very busy schedule to go on that particular uh, post and answer your questions yeah, or maybe anyone from your team could do that yeah, if it's a technical yeah. question and i will i will let uh, uh, you know divya answer all these uh, questions and uh, pretty much i think uh, uh, the crux here is i mean we will all have to learn technology and we will all have to learn i mean see how uh, uh, what did it take uh, for my 72 years old father to learn whatsapp Are you are you are you getting the gist of it? I mean, he is seventy two year old chemist, and last year, I mean, we gifted him a smartphone, and he was like, you know, I don't know how to mm. use it, and all. I'll only use the green button and the red button. <laughs> and now he's pro, and he's sending me these good morning messages. And, uh, I think uh, Navratras have gone, and still he's uh, whatever is coming. So I think you know, when a seventy two seventy two year old gentleman can learn WhatsApp, and now he's requesting me to. Uh, open a facebook account which i am a little very off but i think uh, technology is something where uh, using these uh, particular platform is the need of the hour number one we need to use it number two we need to identify which solutions uh, we need to uh, you know take because i think eventually all these solutions have to go to the parents because the smartphones or the internet and everything you have to get these things uh, you know approved by the parents and all so it should be easy to understand and i think you could also take a reference from a lot of your peers who have been using these technologies uh, you know in terms of and as to when it comes to divya and flipland they have been there uh, since 20 years so i personally vouch for uh, divya and uh, i think it was only one day before lockdown when i came to delhi yes. <laughs> i should let you all know that how hard working this uh, team is i mean uh, in gurgaon it was uh, you know all the offices were shut these people used to drive to delhi in a restaurant which was open with social distancing the entire team used to sit over there and they were working from there so i think it was very lucky of me to uh, be leaving delhi on that day otherwise uh, yeah would you would have been with us only at my home then you would have been sitting next to me ravi doing okay. this webinar perfect i hope all of you have uh, copied your questions and pasted in on facebook uh, live and uh, there are a lot of people who are also asking questions on facebook live but since the time is constrained i will request divya to go on sco news facebook page and answer we'll answer. all of these yeah. uh, things if you have any parting note divya i mean if you want to tell these people to stay safe i mean all of these are <laughs> educators they, they they know already but let's just do it because our honorable prime minister yeah. has been saying this every day in manki baat and all those so i think yeah. uh, we all are influencers and we need to make sure that we behave so that uh, the people who are inspired by us i mean also behave and just be at home uh, as to uh, me uh, i i have media accreditation so i have to come to office for the <laughs> bandwidth and i i have this uh, mask also so ah oh, lovely <laughs> so i think my parting note would be uh, first of all a very very big salute to all of you because i think it takes each educator whether we are school owners or teachers or influencers in any way to stand up to the challenge that has come our way and say that our children will learn no matter what and i think we are all getting out of our comfort levels to try out different things and that is the biggest spirit to to you know really salute thank you so much and that is why i think um, and i i totally agree when ravi said um, the teachers build the india of tomorrow and that is what is the key so i think all of us are doing our bit ravi is trying to influence people in their own way i'm trying to do my own bit in enabling and like i say please stay safe very very safe wear your mask follow all the social distancing rules and 
um, take care of everybody at home. I think that is very, very important. Uh, use this time, spend time, be warm and uh, it's okay. It's another, it's another way to live life and uh, there's nothing to be depressed about. We must always be positive and, and driving things and spreading the love, if I say, you know, around us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Divya, for uh, that smile. I mean, I'm a great fan of that smile. <laughs> Thank you for uh, doing what you are doing for the nation in the need, uh, you know, the, the hour I mean, uh, that we all need to respond to. And I think, I mean, uh, the entire world is calling uh, the doctors, paramedics and yeah. the police personnel, the Corona warriors. We yeah. should also, uh, of course, all uh, the educators. Yeah. yeah, we are thankful to all these uh, Corona warriors, but we also should realize that the teachers they have been the warriors right from day one. Right? Yeah. So I think, I mean, uh, the, the, that respect for teachers mm -hmm. is long overdue. Yeah. And I think, I mean, uh, uh, this is something which uh, we all should do collectively. Sure. And a lot of you are asking, when is our next webinar? I mean, we have uh, a Telegram channel. So if you uh, want to go on Telegram, I think, I mean, that's where we don't have limits because our all 176 WhatsApp groups are of full capacity. <laughs> so, you know, making a transition to Telegram. If you want to join Telegram, uh, you know, download the app and search School News. That's where we will let you know when the next webinar. And by the way, on the 1st of May, I am taking Heritage Experiential Learning School and the entire team on webinar. Oh, and lovely. I am going to discuss the ingredients of being the top rated school <laughs> yeah. in India. And Manit totally. has uh, <laughs> happily agreed and given his consent. So I think, I mean, that's one webinar. I mean, you all should look forward to. Then on 5th of May, we are getting uh, Rageshwari, uh, Lumba, oh. and Amish Tripathi and Lina Asher mm -hmm. again on a webinar. So we'll let you know about all these things. And uh, uh, my colleague Vinay will also ensure that the email IDs of all uh, FlipLearn people are given to you on the email that you registered for. So look for an email from no reply at zoom.us. So <laughs> thank you very much for the patience. We still have a full pack uh, audience here in, uh, <laughs> on the Facebook. But thank you very much and stay safe. And uh, I'll see you on the other side real soon. Thank you. Divya, thank again. you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank Bye. you, everybody. Bye.